Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. So here we will see how to join orders and order items. We already understood uh, what are different types of joins that are supported. Here we will take it further and we will try to see it in action. So uh, as per this topic, we will see how join can be used to get order date and order revenue as output after joining. We already filtered orders and compre uh, with completed state. We already got order ID as key and order date as value from orders. We also got order ID as key and order item subtotal as value from order items. Um, and also we actually computed revenue uh, for each order. I missed that uh, point here. I will add that. So applying the join function is very straightforward. You just have to say, um, and you have to give the name to RDD if you want to use it later and then give one rdd dot join and other rdd so here we are trying to join order items onto orders so we can copy paste this one already we have orders and order items as part of my session so here i am just running this query um, or this command and now order orders join is of type rdd and each record is nothing but a tuple and the first element in the tuple is of type integer and the second element in the tuple is a nested tuple it's another tuple and it has the string and float string is from the first element uh, uh, sorry first rdd which is orders which have the date so this will have the date because we are trying to join the data set which have order id and the date in one order id and uh, order revenue in an another and orders is the one which have order ID and the date. Um, and we are trying to join order items which have order ID and revenue onto orders. So the elements from order items will come last. And the elements from the orders will come first here. And this is the common key which is there in both the uh, data sets or RD, RDDs. So order ID is the first element in this main tuple and in the second tuple we have elements from both orders and order items from orders we got a string type which is order date for, from order items we got revenue which is of type float we can also preview the data again by using action called take 100 you can give as many numbers as you want to preview take only takes uh, n number of records n being the parameter in this case 100 and then dot for each println and hit enter you can see the data so the first the first element in the tuple is order id and the second element is a nested tuple and the first element in the tuple is date and the second element uh, in the in the nested tuple is revenue from order items okay so this is how uh, you you can uh, uh, you can uh, see uh, how the data is represented as part of the output the output is nothing but a, again a paired rdd uh, the the key of the paired rdd is the join key and the value will be a tuple which will have elements from both the data sets in this case we have only one one element or one column each or one attribute each from both orders and order items if you have multiple elements first it will give the um, all the elements uh, from the from the rdd onto which uh, the data is joined so it will give all the elements from the orders then it will start with the elements from the order items especially if your data in uh, both the data sets are comma separated then it can mislead you because even the tuples are represented as comma separated so you have to be a little bit careful if, if if that is the case what you have to do is you can use the same uh, uh, same uh, rdd which is uh, a joined rdd and use the same action take in for each instead of println directly you can say println you can actually uh, pass the parameter you can uh, define anonymous function you can pass the parameter as rec 
and then you can say println rec dot underscore one colon rec dot underscore two dot underscore one it is very important to understand how you can access in this case the first element is just a plain element so we by saying rec dot underscore one we will get that but when it comes to second element it's a nested element we have to say like this let me copy paste this one okay and then plus okay some one more bracket is missing let me give that bracket also so there is it it should be odd of join okay now you can see this is the first element uh, uh, this is the order id which is the join key in both the data sets and then this is the order date and then this is the order item subtotal you can uh, print the way you want in this case i just separated with uh, uh, colon because comma can be misleading in some cases especially if we were trying to um, join uh, the uh, data sets which have comma separated values in that okay and so this is how you can actually see or you can actually convert it into json also and you can actually read the data in the form of json also so if you want you can uh, uh, print it as json also to print it as json you just have to convert this to json will not work you have to say orders join dot uh, map and or even as part of the for each you can say um, uh, instead of printing like this you can print it in json just give me a moment i will show you so here println and uh, then okay order id plus rec dot underscore one and you can proceed further here i will not be typing everything but this is how you can you can print it now it's uh, all showing up only json you if you want you can add more elements to it so you can make it into json so that it is better readable to you so you can uh, use all these kind of transformations further to uh, to apply on this join data set and do whatever you want and we will use these things in future uh, to perform further aggregation so far we have got uh, order revenue at at order level and we have joined orders and order items which gives us order id order date and order revenue for each order id and now we can actually use this data set and compute the total revenue and total number of orders which can be used uh, to compute the uh, average revenue uh, for our application uh, which uh, for which the problem statement is to get the average revenue on daily basis from our data set that being said i hope you are enjoying the content if you like this video uh, uh, or if you have to provide the feedback or if you have to give the rating please do so especially when it comes to rating give me the full rating if you think otherwise please raise the concern so that i can come up with the justification and uh, based on that you can give the rating uh, and also it will help me to improvise on my content as part of the future courses if you start giving the rating or providing the feedback or liking the videos and that way 
uh, over time my content will be much improvised that being said thank you bye